Red Cross, to me, will always be one of the most important bands, not just in America, but like, you know, in the last 30, 40 years. First time I heard Red Cross, I'm not really sure when it was. I'd read about those guys a lot, in magazines, um, fanzines and stuff like that in the early 80s. The bass player was 11 and playing with Black Flag and all that. It just seemed crazy. I was proud that they were the first kitty punk band. Yeah, before Mad Society and what have you. Our ages ranged from 11 to 16. So I was like, okay, 11 year old could play, that's cool. I was in sixth grade at the time, and our drummer was in uh, eighth, was graduating eighth grade. We offered ourselves up to play this graduation party in Hawthorne, and um, and then we also invited our new friends. So we could get another, we could get another band. The room was filled with all these like dudes with like feathered hair. Thinking back, we're little kids, and then like yeah, and I would say yeah, this next number is a unreleased Black Sabbath song, and then they'd be like yeah. Yeah, then we'd go into one of our songs like, oh man, you suck. And then Black Flag basically blasted the kids out of the living room. So we just, you know, we want to tour the world and just, you know, jam the nation. What could be more radical in punk rock than to break the rules of punk rock? And they were doing that. But then Jeff's like, I'm going to go to the Goodwill and dumpster dive and get um, the biggest fucking elephant flares I can find no, in that goddamn thing. thing. Uh, it wasn't like that. You were just on board. It wasn't like, this is what we are doing. Yeah. It was. It literally well, was. Him, I just, it was. I can tell you it was. I also remember running into uh, pre-Nirvana guys in the audience. I think they'd started their band but weren't called Nirvana yet. And um, I remember them saying to me like, these guys are too happy. Why are they so happy? I don't know, but they're they're really good and they're kicking your ass. Axel Rose was backstage. I think he was a doorman or something. Yeah, I really love your band. I really like your band. Um, yeah, we should do some shows together. I said, oh, fine, but we're not opening. And he's like, um, but, you know, we're really getting popular. And I'm like, no. Regardless if Jeff realized he was making um, a terrible mistake. No, but he was, making, he was <laughs> making choices that were definitely um, going to alienate us. He would make them over and over and over and um anytime i started to feel like i fit in i thought it was a good thing anytime jeff thought that he was fitting in it was a bad well thing. that's going back to that that and, first and, acid and, trip it was like ugh, i want to do my own thing <laughs> I just wanted to look fashionable. <laughs> I mean, it's honest. I mean, it's like, I remember, yeah, like, like a lot of times, if you look at the old pictures, it is really cool. And there's a couple of times where I took chances that I kind of can't get behind. Like, like the giant white um, sailor, I was on Downers for this one. Um, I don't know what the giant white sailor There's a like. video somewhere of us. I was into this stuff too, but I think that I would have approached it differently. I wouldn't have been as bold if I, as, as we were, but, um, you know, purposely like antagonizing the supposed, you know, um, counterculture. But that makes it fun and interesting. It's, it Until is. you can learn how to play and write songs. <laughs> I think that they're a super important band. They're every bit as important as any band that sold millions and millions of records. Absolutely. And people, unfortunately, measure things along those lines. A band beyond the power of all geekdom, Red Cross. Jeff started talking to me about the Partridge family and was just saying like some of those Partridge family records are as good as any other records in you know in, in, in psychedelic music. Oh, this one here is amazing. This is the classic 
Partridge Family album. This was our favorite. Um, up there with Pet Sounds, Summer Days. Jeff and I spent a lot of time with David Cass and we 